Let's get, go across now to NDTV's uh, Muhammad Ghazali, who joins us from Beirut. As this, uh, as we've seen the war expand, there's been a new round of airstrikes also in Beirut uh, uh, on Sunday. Ghazali, uh, tell us all the latest that you're hearing right now in terms of what's happening, uh, targeting of Beirut and also Hezbollah rockets uh, that uh, landed in Haifa. Uh, yeah, Gargi, it appeared as if like uh, today marks one year of what happened in Gaza. What happened in Israel, the Israel Hamas war, uh, it, it appeared as if that from today onwards, all the states will reconcile, think of uh, a ceasefire, but it has only intensified since morning. First, Hamas has started uh, firing rockets into Israel as uh, the mourners gathered there to observe the one year of the war. And what is happening in Beirut and the, and the outskirts of the Lebanon on the southern and northern border is intense bombardment from Israel. Just a short while ago and a short distance from here, near the airport, we saw smoke plummeting from a tar, and it was perhaps a targeted attack against one of the Hezbollah commanders in Beirut. Uh, on the southern side of, of Lebanon, that shares its border with northern Israel, the ground forces are already engaged in combat with Hezbollah fighters, and casualties have been reported on both sides. Israel has now sent reinforcement for its troops, which have entered into Lebanon and are fighting a fierce battle with Hezbollah fighters near the Israel-Lebanon border. Israel feels that they want to eliminate Hezbollah from the border areas of of, of Lebanon so that its own residents who have left the northern border of Israel can go back and settle in, in peace. Uh, but Hezbollah has also been firing rockets into Israel. Today, around 11 people were injured in Haifa city when Hezbollah fired rockets there. Now, in Beirut and in Lebanon, in, in, in larger, uh, the situation is very tense, at least in the outskirts of the city. There have been attacks on the, on the residential buildings. Israel claims that all the residential buildings, or most of them, which has come under attack of its bombardment, have Hezbollah command centers or Hezbollah operatives sustained beneath the building, running a command center or a storehouse of their arms and ammunition. But the situation right. is very tense because this war has now left people displaced. There are lakhs of people, millions of people who are moving from one direction to another. There are people who have now become refugees in their own country. Some are still trying to escape Lebanon and move to Syria and Turkey as well. But Israel has attacked all those exit points, saying that perhaps this is the route from where uh, Lebanon or Hezbollah is also receiving arms from Syria. So simultaneous attacks, not only in Beirut, but also in Syria, also in the areas uh, where the Hezbollah has a strong hold in the remote areas of Lebanon as well. Right, Ghazali. And so the ever-expanding uh, war that we're seeing in West Asia and, uh, and this even as we're waiting to see what Israel's response will be uh, to the attack by Iran. Yes, certainly, because uh, even Iran and its aligned media has been sharing so many videos of their rockets or their missiles being uh, placed into a launching position, saying that if Israel even attacks any of areas or territory inside Iran, be it the oil fields, be it the nuclear installations, or any other power plants, uh, it will retaliate in, 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 in the same fashion. And the uh, uh, Iranian supreme leader, we saw last week that during his uh, Friday sermon, he was he was almost justifying, he justified the October 7 attack and also said that perhaps Israel is the occupying power. And that is why people who are under the occupation have all the right to resist and resist with arms. So he was justifying the armed struggle, calling the October 7 attack as an armed struggle, and also hinted that Iran is ready for any kind of retaliation if Israel engages militarily or, or sort of carries out any kind of aerial strikes into Iran. But the situation in Beirut, if you see, uh, or in Lebanon, because a lot of Hezbollah leaders have been assassinated and, and the organization is running without a leader, but it is still managing to attack Israel or launch rockets towards Israel. So in some sense, we can say that perhaps this war will go on for some more weeks. Uh, and, and perhaps all those efforts to achieve a ceasefire has failed uh, in the last one year.